whole company just so he, if he have to bless a few saints in the company. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Let me say it again. You are so important to God. You are so important to God. Hey, look, at, look at somebody say, you are so important to God that God will bless a whole company just to bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, me and my son walk in a place. I don't have to introduce him as my son. They know he's my son. And God wants, when he looks at us, he wants to see himself. He wants to see holiness. But some of us, God's looking at, it ain't my baby. <laughs> He's not seeing no holiness in you. It's getting quiet in here. See, we can't do the job that God called us to do unless we make up our minds we're going to live holy. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. How many know it feels good to live holy? When you live holy, you know you ain't in trouble. When I get on the airplane, I ain't worried about if it crash, am I going to heaven? Praise God. Hallelujah. I just remind the Lord that his prophet is on the plane. And if it ain't but one person to come out alive, if he, I'm going to be that one. Hallelujah. And if not, get my room ready. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hello, somebody. You're looking at me funny now. Hallelujah. How many know God can keep you if you want to be kept? Praise God. But we're living in a, t we're living in a time where it calls, where God is looking for some people to be special forces. Y'all not hear what I'm saying. There's a movie that's getting ready to come out, but it's about the fourth edition. January 25th, I think it is. Rambo. It brought some smiles to the brothers' faces. And some of the sisters, too, some of them say. Hello, somebody. Hey Amen. We get, we get uh, you know, as Americans, you know, Praise God. See, this country is based on biblical concepts. What a lot of people don't understand is, you know, so the, the things that make America is great because this America is founded on the word of God. And our whole nature, our whole, so much of who we are is because of these biblical concepts. See, when I go places, they know I'm American just by my attitude. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. It's just a certain something that we got. Amen. It's coming back for knowing that we're blessed. Coming back for knowing we're the head and not the tail. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Praise God. See, America has a more than conqueror attitude. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so God is looking for some people to be some special forces that would dedicate themselves. Some people that were going to get the job done when others won't get the job done. What a man or a woman that can save a nation. God said, I saw for a man among them that would make up the gap, that would stand the hedge, that I should not destroy the land. Are you hearing what I'm saying? See, destruction is going to come on America and this world because of sin. See, God created us to serve him. He created you. He created the world to serve him. And everything is his. He said, all oh, the gold is mine. The cattle on a thousand hills is all mine. He said, all souls are mine. The souls of the father and the souls of the son. 
Hallelujah. You don't have the right to do what you want to do because God created you to serve him. Hallelujah. And we need some people that will cry loud and spare not. Don't hold nothing back. I told somebody the other day that was talking to me, and they said, uh, I uh, um, was telling me they cheated on their husband. I said, oh, so you committed adultery then. So yeah, and I don't regret it. And I said, you will regret it when the flames of hell be burning up around you. You will regret it then. See, God has given us commandments that we got to serve him. And see, we're gonna, and we're gonna be in God's special forces of one man revival. We gotta make up our minds. See, the Bible said, be fully persuaded in your own mind. You gotta be persuaded that you're not going to give in to temptation. <laughs> temptation is gonna come, but you gotta resist temptation. It's getting quiet in here. You can't let the devil get you through your ego, through your mind. Your girl, you know you still look good. You still got it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The devil will do so many things to try, amen, to get you to mess up. And you got to make up your mind, I'm not going to mess up. I'm going to be a one-man revival like Elijah, like a John the Baptist, that I'm going to do what God has called me to do. I'm not going to turn into sin, but I'm going to live holy. Somebody say praise the Lord. See, Elijah was a normal man, but the Bible says, amen, that he was a man subject and the like passions as us. But he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. Hallelujah. He had a burden for his people. And see, the problem with the church today is that we don't have a burden for sin. We have, we have not rightly divided the word. And we try to present a gospel that you okay and Jesus loves you. Yeah, he, he died for you. But if you don't get saved, you're going to hell. You got to let the sin go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You might think you born that way. No, the devil just been messing with you since you was a kid. Hallelujah. That God don't make no homosexuals. God don't make no homosexuals. He created us to be fruitful and multiply. You can't be fruitful with no man. Are you hear what I'm saying? Praise God. But you don't know how I feel. Thank God I don't. Amen. I don't give in to them demon spirits. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are demon spirits. Got to be a demon spirit to change your nature. I know it's a demon spirit. I cast them out and I can sense them. Praise God. But think of how strong that demon is to make you, amen, man want to want to be with another man. What's wrong with you want to be with old dusty, crusty another man? You done lost your mind. One of the greatest things God ever made is a woman. And you rather be with a man than a woman? You need to get, you need some help. You need to come in here and let us cast them demons off of you. Are you hear what I'm saying? Letting all this sin creep up in the church. Folks on the down low. Yeah, you're going to be you with your low down self. Amen. You're going to be down low. Or that's, for, that's for sure. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, we got to be one man revival and one women revival that we're going to cry out to sin. Because people got to turn from their sin and turn to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We're trying to help you. We're trying to cure you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise God. That's the problem with us. Amen. Our city. We got a generation.